Hey guys, my name is Zach Flournoy and I'm going to be talking to you today about what earnings management is, why management would want to be a part of earnings management, and the different, a few different types of earnings management. So our book defines earnings management as the purposeful intervention in the external financial reporting process with the intent of obtaining some private gain. So why companies would do it, um, this is going to have to do with companies don't feel like they're technically breaking the rules. Um, they feel like they're using loopholes to be able to get get out of or get through um, the standards that have been set. Um, they also may feel like it's not that big a deal, like they're only messing with current income and it's something they can fix next reporting period or uh, next year even. Um, another reason is management, uh, they may want to get their bonus and if they don't mess with the West mess with the numbers, they may not get their bonus for this year, um, and so that could be a big problem. So a few different types of earnings management. We have the uh, cookie jar reserves. Um, this is reserves from a good year used to offset losses in a bad year. So and management may mess with the numbers and uh, shift them around a little bit one year when they have a good year, um, and then if the next year if they don't have as or if they don't have as good of a year, they have a bad year, they may end up um, shifting those numbers again to make it look like they ended up not having that bad of a year. So the next one is a premature recognition of revenue. Um, and this is when a company recognizes revenue before the revenue has been earned or received. Um, we all know that concept statement five states that revenues and gains are generally not recognized as components of earnings until realized or realizable and earned. So this is going to be, you know, sometimes corporations will recognize income from a sale that hasn't even been finalized yet in order to get that on the current year's, uh, into the current year's numbers. So, uh, and then the third one is big bath restructuring. And this is when a one-time charge is taken out against income in order to reduce assets which result in lower expenses in the future. So this could be, um, you know, a company may want to look bad so this year so that next year they can look really good if they have all these improvements. And a big reason for this is uh, when a company gets a new CEO, they may want to finish that current year bad so that the company can blame that bad year on the previous CEO uh, and the new CEO uh, then in the next year whenever they perform really well they can tell everybody that that was their doing so those are the what why and the different types Thanks.